welcome back to my channel and uh, this is Stanley today I'm going to take you through the free processor that is a zero zero D on C so before we dive on to the actual assignment ensure that uh, you go through the radio material that has been attached on, on your account okay the instruction are as usual you use the VI the readme and uh, HEC. There's nothing which has changed. For the quiz, the questions are quite easy. The preprocessor removes all the comments. That's very true. The preprocessor generates object codes. That's false. Then what are the steps of compilation? We have done this on the previous assignment. So number one, we have the preprocessor, compiler, assembly, and lastly, the link, the linker. What is the GCC option that runs only on the preprocessor? And that is E. The next part, what will be the last five lines of the output of the command G? The output, the last five lines, and this now the, the answer. Then number five, uh, this code will try to locate to allocate uh, 1024 bits in the IP. True. Okay, what will be the output of the program? And this is supposed to be size, size of I, which is one. Okay, number seven, why should we use include guide in our header file? And then supposed to be to avoid the problem of double inclusion when dealing with the include directive. Then the preprocessor links our code with the libraries, which is false. Uh, macro file expand to the name of the current input in the form of C string, which is true. This portion of code is actually using the library, false. The preprocessor generate assembly code which is not true. Then uh, what does the macro table size expand to? And that's supposed to be the seven, just as you can see this part. Then uh, null is a macro, which is very true. Okay, having done that, these are very simple uh, quiz. So if I tell you go the reading material, you'll find it quite easy for you. Okay, now let's dive to the actual thing, which is uh, number one, we are supposed to, you create a handler file that define a macro name size as an abbreviation for the token 2020-1024. Okay, as usual, let's check the repo. We are supposed to create our projects on the GitHub repository ELX low level programming. Then our project should be on the directory 00d processor and the first file should be zero object like macro. Okay, let's dive direct to the creation of this kind of account. Okay, so open your so you open your sandbox, of which I've already done that. Okay, I would use the LS to open my repo. So these are now the files that I have here. Then I will open my ALX dash low. Then use the tab to copy the statement, move to the next part. LS to see what I have. So these are the directory that I have inside, inside my repo. Not terrible. Then uh, next, let's try to create to create uh, the directory. So I will use the command mkdir, which stands for make directory. That's the name of my directory. Let me see whether I've already created that. As you can see, this is now the name. Okay, next step, let me try to open it. So I will use the cd, then uh, the name. Let me see whether there's anything inside. As you can see, it's an empty one. So the next step, as we show, is to create a readme file as per the instruction. Readme file. So vi readme insert. Then uh, I prefer to use the name of the project that I'm creating, which is the 00D. So I will copy this part. Then I will do post on uh, these. Okay, escape colon wq. Okay, having done that, we move now direct to assignment number zero, which is now the object. So copy this one. CD, then you paste. Okay, sorry for that. It's supposed to be VI. VI.
enter then okay so this is the the code that i've already prepared so you need you will not uh, get any challenge to come up with this one i will share this one actually in the description part so there's no need of grabbing it okay then the next part we have uh, you create an ender file that defines a macro named bi as an abbreviation for the token 3.1459239 so copy this one name of the file create that file name bi okay insert okay having done that let me go to my codes as you can see this is the code that you're supposed to paste copy okay we move to the next number for the next number you are supposed to write a program that prints the name of the file that was compiled from the following line you are allowed to use the standard allowed to use the standard okay so the name of the file is the file name Okay. Then uh, the next part. You write a function like a macro sum x y that computes the sum of the number x and y so this is the last part so it's a very simple simple assignment escape wq okay the next step is to copy the the main copy the main so i'll start from uh, this point copy Next, we have a uh, we have a uh, one. Let me see.
escape Then uh, the number three, copy this one. Okay, so next part is to compile our work. So copy these. So this is now the last part. Okay, next we have a Then uh, we do the last part that is a uh, git add, git commit. That is a people sensor. Then uh, git push. Okay, let me see how it's working. That is our number four. So all the checkers are green, meaning that uh, we did it correctly. The same to this one, all the checkers are green. Okay, same to this one. Okay, same to this one and uh, our last part. Okay, so how our checkers are green, meaning that we did it correctly. So before maybe you attempt the 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 project ensure that you go through the mass reading material and also watch the video to the end then after watching the video don't forget to like subscribe and in case you need any clarification 
kindly comment i will go through all the question and get back to you guys and lastly i will share this document thank you